The prayers of the Theotoko save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you, O Heavenly King, Comforter of the Spirit of Truth. Word everywhere and fill all things. Treasure your blessings and giver of life. Come and abide us and cleanse us from your impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit who learn from these, for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips free of deceit. From you let my vindication come. Let your, let your eyes see the right. If you try my heart by night, if you test me, you will find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress with regards to the works of men. By the word of your lips, I have avoided the ways of the violent. My steps have held fast to your paths. My feet have not slipped. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my words. Wondrously show your steadfast love, O Savior of those who seek refuge from their adversaries at your right hand. Guard me as the apple of the eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who despoil me, my deadly enemies to surround me. They clothe their hearts in pity. With their mouths they speak arrogantly. They track me down. Now they surround me. They set their eyes to cast me to the ground. They are like a lion, eager to tear, like a young lion lurking in ambush. Arise up, O Lord, confront them, overthrow them, deliver my life from the wicked by your sword, from men by your hand, O Lord. From men whose portion in life is in this world, may their bellies be filled with what you have stored up for them. May their children have more than enough. May they leave something over to their babes. As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with beholding your form. You, O Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exalt over me. Yes, let none that wait for me for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they are from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to steadfast love, remember me. For your goodness sake, O Lord, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in his way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness. For those who keep his covenant and his decrees, for your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him he will he instruct in the ways that he should choose. He himself shall abide in prosperity and his children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever towards the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distress. Consider my affliction and my trouble, and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes, and with what violent hatred they hate me. O guard my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take my refuge in you. May I integrity and uprightness preserve me. For I wait for you, redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done that which is evil in your sight. So you are justified in your words and blameless when you pass judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquities and in sins did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill me with joy and gladness, and the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Uphold me with, by your guiding spirit. 
Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good design in your good pleasure, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then will you delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death. And he has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell, and he has granted to the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries. And by virtue of your cross, preserve your habitation. Now and ever, and to ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, you are the true vine who did bud forth for us the fruit of life. Implore him, we beseech you, O Lady, together with the apostles and all the saints that he will have mercy on our souls. Bless the Lord God, bless the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages, amen. Most holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespassers, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> On this day you rose from the tomb, O merciful one, leading us from the gates of death. On this day Adam exalts as Eve rejoices. With the prophets and patriarchs, they unceasingly praise the divine majesty of your power. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 in heaven on earth are worshiped and glorified, O Christ God, long suffering, bluntness and mercy and compassion, who loves the just, shows mercy to those who are hardened in sin, who calls all men to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our lives towards your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set aright our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from all calamity, wrath, and distress. Come to us about with your holy angels, that guarded and guided by their hosts, we may attain into the unity of faith and to the knowledge of your wonderful glory. For you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, more and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. Amen. O Lord God, Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy upon me, a sinner, and by the judgment which you have established, save me, your unworthy servant, for you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship all down before Christ, our King, our God. Come, let us worship, fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me, the ruthless seek my life. They do not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper, the Lord is the upholder of my life. He will requite my enemies from their evil, in your faithfulness put an end to them. With a free will offering, I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. 
Give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me. I am overcome by my trouble. I am distraught by the noise of the enemy because of the oppression of the wicked. For they bring trouble upon me, and in wrath they persecute me. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. And I say, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Yes, I would wander afar. I would lodge in the wilderness. I would haste to find a shelter from the raging wind and tempest. Destroy their plans, O Lord. Confuse their tongues, for I see violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it. On the walls, on its walls, and mischief and trouble are within it. Ruins is in its midst. Oppression and fraud do not depart from its marketplace. It is not an enemy who taunts me, then I could bear it. It is not an adversary who deals insolently with me, then I could hide from him. But it is you, my equal, my companion, my familiar friend. We used to hold sweet converse together. Within God's house, we walked in fellowship. Let death come upon them. Let them go down to shale alive. Let them go down in terror into their grave. But I call upon God, and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning at noon, I utter my complaint and moan, and he will hear my voice. He will deliver my soul in safety from the battle that I wage. For many are arrayed against me. God will give ear and humble them. He who is enthroned from of old, because they keep no law and do not fear God. My companion stretched out his hand against his friends. He violated his covenant. His speech was smoother than butter, yet war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O God, will cast them down into the lowest pit. Men of blood and treachery shall not live out happier days, but I will trust in you. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, who abides in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noondays. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you made the Lord your refuge, the most high your habitation, no evil will befall you. No scourge shall come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge of you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands you will, they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he cleaves to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad. For the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell, and he has granted to the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You defeated error, and triumphed, and martyrdom. Nesetus, namesake of victory, for you conquered the ranks of the enemy, and ended your con contest by fire. Pray to Christ our God, to grant us his great mercy, now and ever, into ages of ages. Amen. Seeing that we have no boldness because of the multitude of our many sins, O Virgin Theotokos, fervently treat him who was born of you. For the prayer of a mother avails much to win the master's favor. Despise not the prayers of us sinners, O all pure one. For merciful and mighty to save is he who graciously deigned to suffer for our sake. Let your tender mercies quickly go before us, O Lord, for we have become very poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and cleanse our sins for your name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, blot out our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit who learn from you, for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. As you were voluntarily crucified for our sake, grant mercy to those who are called by your name. Make all Orthodox Christians glad by your power, granting them victories over their adversaries, and by bestowing on them the invincible trophy, your weapon of peace. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord O you at all times and every hour, in heaven and on earth are worshiped and glorified. O Christ, God, long suffering, plenteous in mercy and compassion, who loves the just, shows mercy to those who are hardened in sin, who call men to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our lives toward your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set right our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from all calamity, wrath, and distress. Compass us about with your holy angels. That the garden guided by their hosts, we maintain to the union of the faith. And to the knowledge of your unapproved glory, if you are blessed unto ages of ages, amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. Amen. O God and Lord of hosts, the maker of all creation, who by the tender compassion of your incomparable mercy, sent up your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross destroyed the handwriting of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the principalities and powers of darkness. O Master and lover of mankind, accept also from us sinners these thanksgivings and fervent prayers, and deliver us from every harmful and dark transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to destroy us. Nail our flesh to the fear of you, and incline not our hearts to words or thoughts of evil, but wound our souls with the love of you, so that ever looking to you, and being guided by your light, beholding you, the unapproachable and everlasting light, we may send up unceasing praise and thanksgiving unto you, the Father who has no beginning, together with your only begotten Son, and your all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Blessed are you, Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Oh. 
Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and save us. Demonon is in the seventh tone. Extol the Lord our God, worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Extol the Lord our God, worship at his footstool, for he is holy. The Lord reigns, let the people tremble. Extol the Lord our God, worship at his footstool, for he is Extol the Lord our God. Worship and his for he is holy. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Galatians. <coughs> Brethren, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Christ Jesus, that he, we might be justified in faith, in Christ and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law no flesh shall be justified. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves are also found sinners, is Christ therefore a minister of sin? God forbid. For if I build again those things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I, for I through the law am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. I have been crucified with Christ, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now if Christ is preached that he may have been raised from the dead, how do some among you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is vain, and your faith is also vain. Yes, and we are, also, are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he did not raise up. If, in fact, the de dead do not rise, for if the dead do not rise, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men the most miserable. In the first tone, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
remember your congregation, which you have gotten of old. Before the ages, he has worked salvation in the midst of the earth. sings to you and cries, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. The heavenly <coughs> choir sings to you and cries, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels and archangels with all the powers of heaven sing your praises and cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried 
and on the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and descended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge my baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O oh God, remit, pardon, forgive our sins, whether voluntary or involuntarily, whether by word or deeds, whether in knowledge or ignorance, whether by day or night, whether in mind or thought. Forgive us all these, for you are good and love mankind. Our, our Father. on us and save us. Graciously inclined also to me a sinner, establish me, give understanding to my heart, and purge away all my vileness. Enlighten my mind that I may glorify, sing praises, and adore at you and say, One is holy, one is Blessed 
Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried, and he was heard by the Lord, and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you for the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and covets many days to enjoy good? Keep your tongue, up, tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord rescues them from them all. He keeps all their bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil brings death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. Son of God, through the prayers of your most pure mother, by the power of your honorable and life-giving cross, and by the holy, bodiless powers of heaven, of our holy, venerable, and God-fearing fathers of Nicetus, of whom we have commemorated today, and of all your saints, have mercy on us and save us. Sliders just to move the number three down just a little bit. So I'm actually really, really loud. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, hi. Um, glory to Jesus Christ. So um, there was a little bit of a perfect storm of stuff that happened um, this week. Um, Father Philip, my dad, had to go to Winnipeg um, on Wednesday, Thursday for a funeral. Um, while he was at that funeral, um, we discovered that the retreat speaker for the women's retreat, with, which is taking place this weekend, who was also going to be the priest at the event, um, had, to, had, a, had, had to have some surgery, so he was not able to make it to the retreat. So that meant that we needed a priest at the women's retreat. Father Sebastian is on holidays. He is with family here, so he is not available. So that left us with um, a reader's um, typica, which this is the first one that I have been in since I would have been, I don't know, maybe 12, 13. 
Um, it's the first one that I've ever led. And I have to say um, that when I saw the gospel readings, um, and yeah, this whole thing has been a very interesting event for me. Um, because the two people that are supposed to be here leading everything are not. And they're my mom and my dad. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, what's going to happen when they're not here anymore? Is that going to be me? Is that going to be you? Um, right now in the parish, I um, help out with the um, streaming. I started that up when we started. I, we've got other people doing that now, and thank God we do. Um, but we don't have enough. We need more. Um, I serve in the altar. Um, Mom had her knee surgery and hasn't been able to lead the choir all the time, so I'm leading the choir. So I'm doing a lot of things here, and I'm not saying that because I'm boasting. I'm just, I've got a lot on my plate. We've got a lot on our plate. We have priests and deacons. Um, a priest who just died in Winnipeg. Um, they ordained a, de a deacon up in Edmonton this weekend. Um, he's 75. And when I read the gospel, I, it was one of those hits you right between the forehead type of a thing. Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel will save it. For what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses a soul? Or what if a man given, or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in glory to the Father with the holy angels. <clears throat> and it goes on to it goes on into the ninth, the first verse of the ninth um, chapter. Um, but what struck me was the first was the first line: "Whoever desires to come after me, let him let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me." And we have a lot of people helping out in a lot of ways. We have Karina, who's doing some amazing work with the lunch groups, and we, that's something that's being able to ma be maintained. Um, but there are things that you know, we don't have very many people. There's Bill and me serving in the altar. And I'm not saying that everyone should be serving in the altar, but maybe that might be something that you're being called to. Maybe you're being asked by God to do that. I know I sure as, sure as heck did not feel like I'm being called to be leading the service on a Sunday morning when that's my mom and dad's job. <laughs> my dad is gonna be at the, at the altar leading everything or Father Sebastian, my mom's gonna lead the choir. And that's that, but I needed to deny myself and do this because that's what I was called to do today. I've been doing it since I was a little bit younger than her, a little bit younger than Vera, who I saw actually sing, saying the entire creed, which I was like, wow, that's probably I could have done that too. But. These are the kinds of things I've, all my life, found myself, there's been holes that I find in the church, things that are not getting done, things that don't happen. And I get asked to do that, and I, I try to do that. Sometimes I, you know, can't deny myself, <laughs> and, I, I, and I have to um, not do that, or I, you know, I, I, I should, I probably ought to. Um, but if you feel that you have something to you that you can offer to the church, think something that you can give, um, if you're interested in helping out, um, there are ways to do that, and you just need to ask. We don't know what your talents are necessarily. We don't know what you like, what you enjoy, but you know, we would love for anybody to help out in any way possible. We just need you to see where your talents are, deny yourself a little bit, commit to something, um, doorkeeping, serving in the altar, singing in the choir, leading the choir. We only have me and mom, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay at it. Mom's the master. Um, but, we could, but if you have a musical talent, if you have a gift for that, maybe that's something that you'd be interested in, helping out with lunch groups. Um, I don't know, fixing up the church, maintenance. We have cleaning bees, those kinds of things. Anyways, that's just kind of what I thought today. And
Thank you very much for attending. Um, we, will sh we should have a normal service next Sunday. Um, I don't foresee there being any issues next Sunday. Uh, we do have our bishop coming into town next Sunday, um, and that's a big event. So if you're able to help out with the coffee hour, especially with the cleanup and the setup, that's really useful. Um, yeah. Um, are there any birthdays, anniversaries, or saints days we can sing for you, I guess? All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Um, yeah, uh, the, the big thing is, is the bishop coming next week. Um, we're going to be starting the service at 9 o'clock. That's for the matins. Um, we're going to, from matins, we're going to switch into the vesting of the bishop, which may take place anywhere from 20 minutes before 6, so 20 to 6, to, uh, sorry, 20 to 10, not 6, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. The service starts at 9, that's when, that's when Matin starts, the bishop's vesting will probably happen about 9.45 to 10 o'clock, depending upon how long Matin's takes. So if you want to be here for the vesting of the bishop, which is always a, a fun and exciting time, please come and try to make sure you're here before 9.45. Um, I expect that it's going to be very busy and very full as we've been finding the case lately. So if you want to find a place to sit, I recommend getting here about 9.45 for that service. Um, yeah, and for those of you visiting, thank you for visiting. Um, this is not a normal service. This, like I say, I have not had this happen since I was about here as a, uh, just uh, maybe 12 or so. Um, and I'm much older than 12 now. So um, it's been a few years um, and, we're, and we're blessed to have all of the, um, we're blessed to have enough clergy to serve most of the time, but it's one of those things where, you know what, they're getting older and we're needing to see who is, you know, being called to deny themselves and maybe make that step. Um, and, that, and the scary thing is, is I might be one of those people. Who knows? That's what people always tell me. So who knows what will happen in the next number of years. All right. Thank you very much. Um, have a great um, uh, rest of your day, and we will see you all next week.